What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory, safety is number one priority. And in this series of videos, I'm gonna show you 10 cool science experiments. So let's get to it. For this experiment, we're gonna need a candle and a lighter. We're gonna light it up. So we're gonna blow the candle and start it back on fire with the smoke. Let's see if it works. So then bring it back on smoke and it lights up. Let's try this again. Pretty cool, huh? For this experiment you're gonna need a lighter, a glass, 70% alcohol or 90, whatever, rubbing alcohol, and a dollar and the thorns. Kids do not try this at home, adult supervision. So we're gonna get a little bit of water in there, then we're gonna mix it with the alcohol. It's good, that just chug it from the cup. And then you're gonna grab a dollar and stick it into that solution. Make sure it's gonna suck it in. And then we're gonna turn off the lights, so it will look better. Then we're gonna grab it out and light it up. Pretty cool, huh? And the dollar is perfectly fine. Let's try this again. Make sure you push this thing out and then light it up. Pretty cool, huh? Check it out, the table is on fire. Let's do that again. I know. Let's do slow motion. Sound fire. Check out, check out this fire. And the dollar is perfectly fine. Man, it's got fire. Sound fire. The balloon. Will the fire pop the balloon? Right, and then we're gonna bring it close to the fire, see what happens. <laughs> of course it's gonna pop the balloon, right? The fire balloon is very tiny, it's gonna pop the balloon. But what if we're gonna fill up a little bit of water and put it over the fire? Check it out, it's not popping the balloon. Why is that? Look how dark it is. Pretty much water absorbs all the heat, so the balloon doesn't get hot at all, so that's why it's not popping. And this is like simple rubber, easy to pop. Fill up Ziploc bag with water and get a couple of pencils, and then what we're gonna do is stick it to, and look, it's not leaking at all. This is what it called leak proof bag the reason why the pencil are seal up the holes so it's not gonna leak which is really cool huh very cool experiment for this one we're gonna get a plate flat plate fill it up with water then we're gonna grab pepper and sprinkle it on top of water and if I touch it with my normal finger you see nothing happens Alright, now we're gonna put a little bit of soap on our finger and, you know, soap it up a little bit and then touch it again. See what happens? It's pushed away. Is that a cool experiment? Soap makes the water different density so it's pushed around so it looks like you have Jesus power. For this cool experiment we're gonna drop some milk in a plate then we're gonna drop food coloring, couple drops over here, couple drops over here, and couple drops over here. Then we're gonna grab our soap and drop a small drop in there. Check it out. Is that cool? All 
Alright, for this experiment we're gonna need two balloons, soap and a skirl, the shish kebab stick to grill the meat on it. So anyways, we're gonna blow up two balloons and then we're gonna put this curl to the balloons first time without soap and second time with soap and we'll see what happens. Alright, and now we're gonna try to put this curl to the balloon, see what happens. Of course it's pops, right? Alright, this time we're gonna soap it up, put a bunch of soap on our fingers and soap it up nicely. That's what she said, right? And now we're gonna grab the balloon and put it too on the bottom right here. And look, it didn't pop. It didn't pop at all. Pretty cool, huh? And now we can push it out and it popped. Why does that happen? When you try to push it to the side, it's more stretched out then here, you can even see it, you know. Sometimes if it's not soppy, soppy, you still can push it too and it doesn't pop. But you gotta soap it up so it doesn't pop. Really cool, huh? Alright, for this experiment we're gonna need candle, plate, water in the plate, food coloring. I got the red because it looks awesome. And then you're gonna need a glass and a lighter, of course. Gonna mix it up. And then we're gonna light up the candle and then we're gonna put the glass over the candle and see what will happen. Check it out. Check it out. The water got sucked in into the glass. Isn't it awesome? Basically what happens is fire burns all the oxygen inside of the glass so that creates vacuum and the water gets sucked in. This experiment we're gonna need a candle, it's already on fire as you can see. Baking soda, vinegar and a glass. First we're gonna put vinegar in a glass, half a cup will be enough. Then put some baking soda on top of it. And then grab this baking soda and put it on a candle. Check out, it still off the candle. Why does that happen? So let's try this again. Put some more vinegar. Check it out. Without pouring water, it turns off. Is that cool? What happened is vinegar and baking soda makes that reaction that produces carbon dioxide. And as you know, fire needs oxygen. So you put all that carbon dioxide on the fire so the fire doesn't have oxygen and it just goes off. Pretty simple and very cool. Check it out, this arrow pointing right. Or is it left? Right? Left? So which way does it point it? Right? Or left? Is that a crazy illusion? Right? Left. Pretty amazing experiment slash illusion, huh? Alright, that's pretty much it. Let me know what do you think in the comments below. Like that video if you like any of the tricks. By the way, check out my new show. Links in the description below. And I'll see you next time. And that's just like perfect peel of egg. And a zombie apocalypse happens, you need to cook. What happens if I'm gonna put a lot of force? Ah!